hunters what's going on everybody we're stephen gamer back again with another awakening video guys uh first of all i want to apologize i've been kind of really really busy this week with work and family and all that good stuff so i haven't really posted much but uh don't worry guys this is gonna be an awesome video for you guys because we're about to awaken rodent the ruthless mercenary and uh, if you know anything about rodent guy this guy is a beast essentially uh a must-have hero in the game right now for all your rota hall of legends this dude does it all he's a super beast to have so without any further ado let's begin his awakening with uh part number one i still have to get his items here i'm three away guys so i'll just do it really quickly here yeah. here we got one there oh two nice and one more all we need okay boom there we go all right so that's that puts completes part number one let's go ahead and craft it all right bam there we go so part number one is done let's go ahead and complete that part number two title temple let's just head over there right now nightmare all right so what are we gonna do here let's see what we're gonna use i want to use some you know what does anybody even use killjoy anymore i don't think so i'm gonna use killjoy Vespix. Let's go some. Oh, Aqua. Some heroes in Sienna. Why not, guys? <laughs> Let's go with some weird lineup here and see what they can do without any pets at all. But who needs pets when you're just massively facing a really, really shitty opponent and they suck? <laughs> they, uh, yeah, literally, these opponents are terrible. I think it's about time we get a nice level cap. And uh, a, a nice challenge to the dailies, right? I mean, eventually we would beat them anyways, and then we can always sweep. But in order to do your awakening, guys, you cannot sweep right away. You you have to at least beat it once. So hence, that's why we're here doing this. Look at the Sienna rolls. Yo, that ultimate from Sienna is not bad. It does dish out a good amount of damage, guys. And then, boom, the boost from your boy. We'll break down his awakening in just a little bit as well, all right? If you haven't seen what his spotlight is, guys, what his abilities do, don't forget, check out his spotlight video because that's where I uh, break down all of his abilities so you guys can see them really quickly. All right, so if you need to do that, check the spotlight out. This one is going to be essentially just for the awakening and the awakened skill here. So we got to do this chapter without anybody dying. So let's go ahead and... Um, <laughs> Let's go. Now we can go crazy. Let's go crazy and bananas. Just destroy everybody. Mark them all. Sand in my way. Get cut down. What? Oh, stand. Boy, I need some glasses. <laughs> this is too easy. They're literally dying just by my basic attacks. All right, with this ultimate, you've met your match. I think I've heard that before from another hero. Who was it? I don't even remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure we've heard that before. Boy, this looks like I'm actually on fast forward mode, but it's not, guys. <laughs> it's actually regular normal mode. It's just that's how powerful or how much the opponent sucks. Yeah. And oh yeah, the job is done. This is all we needed. Here we go, guys. Strap on. Let's check it out. Completion, let's see this transformation. Alrighty then. So, I we I mean, if you watch me, you've already seen his awakening before. You see that he's got one patch eye. I don't know how or what it happens to him. How the hell did he lose his eye? The story is not told. The story has not been told to us. How the hell does he go from having two normal eyes to losing an eye? Unbelievable, but... This card looks sick. Uh, what is this, Dragon Ball Z? His power is over 9,000! But yeah, I love this card, guys. I think it's amazing. I mean, just look at all the action, the energy, just being just drawn out from his body. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's begin this awakening the right way. And, hmm, can I ruin him up? Ooh, yes, I forgot. I've been saving some wounds for him. So we're going to give him some lifesteal here. You know what actually lifesteal might be good for him energy efficiency guys this is a great ruin for rodin if you have rodin out there if you have energy efficiency for him it works wonders he dishes out so much damage that he's going to 
get a lot of the damage back. And the last one, I could put physical. Yeah, physical attack. So I've got life steal, energy efficiency, and physical attack on my Ronin. I think he should do pretty well um, with these uh, ruins there. So let's go ahead. Let's check out the abilities here. And let's see. Melee power. Ronin's attacks are guaranteed to hit enemies who are sufficiently close. And the attacks deal extra damage. Increased damage dealt to nearby enemies by 17%. Alright, that is a lot. Uh, or it goes up 0.25% more every time. All right, we're going to max this out right now, guys. Hang on. We're going to have to max this out because I really want to see how it is at the max. 26.75%. Okay, that is no joke. Uh, damn. So enemies close to him are getting hit by a, an extra 26.75%. That is a really, really good old, uh, awakening there. That's what I'm talking about. So awakening guys is essential, alright, you need to awaken them to dish out as much damage as possible, alright, so we've talked about before, he's great for Hall of Legends, he's great for um, Rota right now, and uh, he's, he's even good for the freaking arena, man, you can use this guy everywhere, he's essentially uh, the same as Ling Ling, you know, They're, they work really well together, but anyways, let's keep moving on. Alright guys, so first thing I'm doing is I just enchanted all of his items. As you can tell, he's going to get a really nice boost. I wanted to make sure I enchant his awakening item, you know, to give him that extra boost that he needs. So after this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into the forge. We're right here, so let's go ahead, jump into the forge. But I think I got one free one here. And let's see, um, who do I want to give the free one to? I think I want to give it on my Batman. Let's give him the free one. And then you want to go in and you want to forge this guy make sure you're not wasting your free one so if you have let's say a legendary mythical glorious whatever you have guys uh don't waste your free one on the first one because obviously your first one is going to be a positive increase no matter what you do and you don't want to waste a good one on a guaranteed increase if you know what i'm saying right at earlier on you can you know at earlier on you're going to be able to get increases on your stats by just doing regular, you know, regular basic increases without having to use up your legendary or guru, your mythical spins. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that's about it. All right. So he's got this, he's got that, and he's got this. So let's go on to the next part. All right, guys. So you're going to get a bonus footage here today because today I'm doing Hall of, I mean, uh, Rhoda uh, Beltor, guys. Return of the Ancients here. And it's Beltor today. So I figured I will do this in my spot. I mean, in my awakening video for Rodan. So you guys can check it out. This is a great use of Rodan, guys. All, you know, Rota you can use him for. And let's see what we're going to do with him and our team here. So, let's just go nuts and bananas. And this, oh, you're also going to get a little bonus as to how you can do this. This team works really, really well, guys. For most of the Rotas, this team has been working really well for me here. <laughs> this is pretty much what I've used for all of them. Okay, let's go. Essentially, you kind of want to stack Rodin and Ling Ling together if you can. If it's not, like right now for me, it's not. They're on two different, too far apart. I guess you're going to have to just go ahead like this, but try to stack them together if you could. All right. At this point right now, you want to save Elador for when he's full. So what we're going to do is right here, we're going to use these two now, and when you use... Ling Ling's alt here, boom, now you can go with your Eldor and he's going to attack a lot quicker, so this is how you maximize his attacks, he goes a lot quicker and he just dishes out a lot more damage, and yeah, 10 million, wasn't the best run obviously of all, I'm pretty sure I can beat that run by maybe another million or so more, but I just wanted to show you guys that this is a great team for Rota. This is how you do it. If you have these heroes, work on them, guys. If you don't have them, <laughs> save up. These heroes are great. But it's a prime example of what Rodan can do in a battle, right? Especially for Rhoda. This guy will give you the boosts that you need with his ultimate. And he also dishes out a good amount of damage for himself. So essentially, he's a very, very good hero to have on your team. And uh, 
You know what I'm saying? If you get a chance to get them, you need to get them. All right, guys. So that will pretty much do it for Rodent's Awakening video. I hope you guys like the Awakening. I think it's pretty dope. It's awesome. He's a lot better now. He can definitely dish out, um, you know, more damage with his Awakening skill. Obviously, 26% more damage is quite a lot to dish out. And, um, you know, good luck if you have him, guys. If you don't have him and you plan on getting him later on when he's released, uh, be sure to get him, guys. Believe me, you're going to need him for a lot you know, a lot more things that are going to be implemented into the game later on as well. Not only for Hall of Legends and raids and all that good stuff, but there's going to be probably different things that you can use it for. So he seems like a hero that is going to be used no matter what happens to the meta, no matter how the meta game changes, this guy is good for PvE, all right? So he's a great PvE player, uh, hero, and that's pretty much it, guys. So that'll be it for today. I will catch you guys on the next Soul Hunters Awakening video. Until then, have a good morning, and afternoon, and good night.